the EBSCOhost is just a database of journals, academic in nature for the most part, that is available at most university libraries around the country. All you need to do is go to your library, find the link for the EBSCOhost, and once you get there you'll see an interface like this. Uh, it defaults to several uh, parameters that are built into it. You're going to be searching all the databases that are sub-databases within the EBSCOhost, so Academic Search Elite, Business Source Premier, Master File Premier, Regional Business News. And then make sure that you are uh, going to be know what you're searching for. This is a set for a Boolean phrase, meaning that if I type in my subject term, it's going to search for environmental and ethics. So anything that I find has to have both of those terms. Now you also want to make sure that your search is for a full text, so that way you can find the uh, full text of the citation of the article online, and that you're searching through all the various kinds of uh, data that they have, whether it's a periodical newspaper or a book. So we're going to leave those in place and go ahead and hit search. And then we can uh, look at our results. This looks pretty promising. A couple of articles here. One is in the Journal of Religious Ethics. Another one is in Bioscience. Let's see if we can limit that down get uh, fewer uh, fewer entries uh, we have 817 results so far let's go to scholarly peer review and reduce the time span so we don't want any of the older articles particularly on this topic let's go up to about there and update this is going to reduce the number of hits that we get Okay, we have 236 results, and you may notice that we ended up with this article again, Sustainability, Virtuous, or Vulgar. And we can go ahead and take a look at that. Just hit on the HTML code for the full text. And after a brief pause, we get the contents of the article. Look it over. Looks pretty interesting. So now we want to be sure that we're going to cite it. So just move over uh, to the right and click on Cite. And it will return to you the various formats for citation, APA, MLA. In our case, we want to use the MLA format, so we just highlight it and then cut and paste it into a document. So I pulled up an empty document and cut and paste this into it and you can see it uh, retained all the information there including the italics. Uh, a lot of times if you cut and paste in other do some documents it won't retain the italics so you may want to take a note of how this looks before you uh, cut and paste it into something, be sure that it retains all those italics. Well, that's basically it. Uh, use the EBSCO host to get the research that you need and make sure that while you're there you just pick up this easy way to get MLA citations. The EBSCO host is 